good morning. It's my final day here in Paris. Um, annoyingly, I had a couple deadlines I had to hit this morning, so I got off to a bit of a late start. It's about 11 o'clock here. I figured, since I kind of failed at my attempt trial of the best uh, croissants in Paris, I would give it one more try this morning. So I came to Mamiche, which is well known for having apparently amazing croissant. But I got here and even though they're supposed to be open right now, there's nobody there. I have watched probably 10 people walk up to the door and try to get in just like I did. Nobody's there. It doesn't even look like they were open today. So their hours are wrong online that are they're also on strike. Um, so a big thing that's going on right now in Paris is there's a garbage strike. Um, which I didn't really realize was going to be such a big deal. Uh, let the motorcycle pass. Um, basically, the garbage collectors are on strike because Macron is trying to raise the retirement age by a couple of years. So they're not happy. Um, when I got back from India, there was a protest going on. It was actually on the street we were staying. So I saw the protest. You know, the French like to protest. I didn't think that much of it. And then a few days ago, what would it have been like Thursday, on my way to the train station to go to Lyon, um, I was in a car, we were hitting all this traffic. We were near the National Assembly. There were cops everywhere. So I asked the driver what was going on. He said, you know, they were voting on this retirement age issue. And that's probably where, you know, all the traffic and delays were coming from. I almost missed my train. I literally, had two minutes to get out of the Uber and run through the station and find my gate and hop on the train before it left. It was not like a fun couple minutes for me, honestly, by the time I like ran to the train with like my three giant bags, I just felt like I was gonna puke. It was not, it was not good. So motto of the story, if there's ever a strike or any issues going on in Paris, leave incredibly early for the train station. I left. I think an hour and a half before my train was supposed to leave, thinking I had enough time since I was across town and I barely made it. Um, but anyway, cut to getting back to Paris yesterday. Um, there were tons of garbage piles, but interestingly enough, there only seems to be massive garbage piles in the areas that most tourists go to because I'm in like more of a residential area now and you can see the streets are clear, it's fine. But then you go over near like the Louvre and all of a sudden there's just massive piles of garbage because you know they're on strike they're not picking up garbage um it's interesting because in the news people are talking about how this has been going on since the 6th and that they haven't been collecting garbage i've been here for like a week and with the exception of when i got back yesterday i haven't noticed any massive garbage piles and again most of the massive garbage piles are in areas where the tourists are so I don't, I feel like the news is maybe over dramatizing this a little, like you can see, literally the street looks normal. Most of the streets in this neighborhood look normal. Um, so I do find that very interesting because if you Google, you know, about the garbage strikes, every single picture you see is just piles of garbage. And it's true, like there are big piles of garbage in some places, but not all over Paris. Um, so that's interesting if you're coming to Paris in the next like couple days don't let the news freak you out like some areas yeah there's a ton of garbage other areas it's totally fine for now i'm gonna just enjoy my last day in paris hopefully find a double espresso and a croissant somewhere else since i've struck out with the bakery today and uh, i'll probably go to a museum i think is the plan the question is figuring out which museum because some museums are closed on mondays others are closed on tuesdays so Stay tuned and we'll see where we end up. <laughs>
I ended up at the Hall de Lumières. Um, if you've seen Emily in Paris, it's basically that like immersive light experience that they went to uh, when they went it was about to go. Right now what they're showing is Chagall. It's super dreamy, highly recommend it. It's 18 euro if you go in person or as I found out when you get there. Um, it actually is two euro cheaper if you book online. So 16 euro online, 18 euro in person. Um, it's held in what like was an old like steel factory. So that was really neat. Um, and they also have like little plaques listing the history of Chagall and the history of the music, as well as the building, which was really cool. Highly recommend it. I think I spent probably like two hours just kind of wandering around, taking it all in. It was the perfect kind of like mellow afternoon, uh, especially because I am still a little bit sick. today. Um, my original plan was to go to the Pompidou after because I figured why not. But um, the weather's changed. It wasn't supposed to rain until tonight, like late night. And I just looked and it's um, supposed to rain in the next like hour now. So I scrapped the plan for the Pompidou and moved up my plan to have my farewell picnic along the Seine. So I just got to the Seine. I have a bottle of champagne in my bag, like a half bottle because I'm one person. And my macaroons from Pierre Hermé, which are my favorite. The original plan was to have uh, cheese and baguette as well, but I don't have enough time to go get the cheese and baguette that I have in my hotel room. So we're just gonna make do with what we have. There's nothing wrong with macaroons and champagne. Oh, and I've also got raspberries, so a little bit of fruit in there, vitamin C. And that's my plan. Hopefully, I'll be able to enjoy it before it starts to downpour. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> 